All right, what is up everybody? This is your tactical combat instructor here. Today I'm gonna to bring y'all a tutorial on how to camouflage your red dot scope. Uh, this looks like an ACOG, but it's actually a red dot. It's one of the cheaper ones that you can buy. Maybe cost me, if I remember correctly, the price tag on this was 25 bucks and it can switch from a green to red dot at any time all you got to do is turn the knob on the side little knob right there um, it's got adjustment sights one on top one on the bottom but um today I'm gonna show y'all how to do a camo job on this and I gotta put a camo job on this because the pressure plate on my um, tack light on my rifle went out so I gotta put the button on it alright so these are the colors I'm gonna be using um, OD green um, now this is forest green OD green um, dark earth and black might not use the black I might just use these three but we'll see how it goes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tape off the lenses because that's the last thing we need is to get spray paint on those. So get your tape. This doesn't exactly have to be perfect as long as nothing gets on that lens. Just trust me, I've had paint on the lens it's a pain in the ass to get off all right it's one lens done I'm not sure if y'all can see that yeah. now we're gonna do the front lens This is a good day to do paint because it's not humid, but it's hot out, so that means the paint it should help the paint dry faster, at least from my experience with spray painting. Humidity is not your best friend. sure all that's good and down so we don't get no paint underneath and there's your front lens all right I would tape over this so like I could see the numbers and everything afterwards but I can just sand that off so it's not a big problem and the adjustments they are screw on so that's just covered by itself all right first coat we're gonna do is gonna be with the brown or the flat brown whatever you want to call it and we're gonna say about with me about let's say six to maybe eight inches away so that way you don't get any drippage all right move these out of the way And the camo job I'm going on this is just one of my camo jobs that I made up myself. It's y'all will see when I get there. But um you don't really need much to do it. Shake this up. side so I can actually see what I'm doing all right now if you don't cover everything you can touch up on that when you get 
done. Now we're going to wait for this to dry. It's going to take it a few seconds, hopefully. And then we will get started on applying our OD Green. Now with the OD Green, I'm probably going to go with um, stripe kind of pattern across. Let me turn this back to the side so y'all can see it. Probably going to go with the stripe kind of pattern going um, diagonal and then I'll apply my forest green I think that's what this color is called is forest green but um this symbol it up dark flat green light flat green dark flat brown and flat black Probably, I'm honestly probably not going to use the black, but if I feel like it and I feel like it needs it, I'm going to put it on there. Like I said, this isn't a camel job that I copied from somebody. This is my own that I made up. But um, we'll wait for this to dry. It's going to take it a little while. I don't know what it is about um this um brand of spray paint. It takes a while to dry. I mean, it's made by the same people. This one, the, the one that actually says camouflage on it. But this one takes forever to dry. And I don't know if that's because it's not the camouflage um, type of that brand. Or, I don't know. But, um, it's supposed to, this, in my experience, the camouflage brand of, I think this is Rustaloon. Rust aluminum or whatever and how the hell do you say that but um for some reason the camouflage always seems to dry faster than either of these this is just like an off brand that I picked up at um the dollar store but um yeah for some reason this type of the rust aluminum uh spray paint it just takes a little while to dry and it says oh it stops rust apparently yeah all right, well, this is still drying. I'll tape over the springy part of this uh, press button on this, and we'll get this painted real quick also while that's drying. Now, it's not really much that you can do to this to camo it because it's such a small piece. I mean, I imagine if you had the tool and everything, you could probably camouflage the hell out of it, but... I am a simple person, so I'm just going to tape over the spring because that's the main part that you need to keep getting paint on it, so that way you can still get a good connection to your battery port. And that's taped, and I'll set that right there. This will be interesting because I got to roll it. I'm going to get paint on my thing. And let me take my ring though. Don't want to get paint on your ring. Yep. Painting myself. It's alright. Alright. Set that up to dry. Look at it. I painted my finger now. Whoops. Alright, now this should be dry enough enough to be able to do whatever. I might have went a little too heavy in some areas. Uh, I missed a few spots on this side. I'm gonna have to paint them real quick. I'll lay it up on the side like that. Set her back up. 
See how shiny it looks? This goes on shiny for some reason. Like, really, really shiny. Even when it's dry and it looks shiny. But then when it's, it's fully dry, it's flat. Like, no shininess to it. Um, Alright. Let's go into our texture. This thing's about out of spray paint. I wonder if I'm going to get anything out of it. Oops. That was smart. Alright, now we're going to go, like I said, diagonal. If it'll come out. And like I said, it really don't matter if you mess up because you can always, because you still got your base coat on there. So all you got to do is just go over it one time with, back with your base coat. You should be all right. You might end up just having a splatter paint. You're just going to have a little bit of splatter. Right, let me see how that looks on this side. Yeah, I'll turn that around so y'all can actually see what it looks like on this side. See, now that looks good. I got to just kind of get that on this side. Yeah, I think this... Thing that out of spray paint. Note to self test spray paint before doing video, before you look like a dumbass. Okay. While that part is drying, I'll show y'all what y'all need for the next part. Alright. This is the bag I've pretty much used for all of my spray paint jobs as you can see started off with blue and then over time it's just gotten all this up and different got the spray paint on it but um all this pretty much is is a laundry bag that you can buy a dollar store for literally like a dollar get it dollar store dollar but um, what you're going to want to do is you want to put this as close to like the area that you want it applied to. You can pull it tight so it gives you that more of a snake skin pattern. But what I'm just going to do is just have it loosely laying on there. And then that's when we're going to apply our dark flat green. And... Yeah, I mean, it, with this, it really doesn't have to be, like, any type of way on there. Like, it doesn't have to be diagonal, straight across, straight up and down. You just put it on there, because either way, the pattern's going to come out. So, as long as it's tight to what you're spray painting, the pattern will show. But if, the, if it is not tight up on there, the pattern won't show up good. And you'll get more, just like, if you were to just spray this on there without the, um... Uh, laundry bag on there so let's see if this is almost dry yet almost there all right um gotta think about how I want this We'll do this side first, that way when I get done, I can turn it around to the camera and show you guys. Alright, so like I said, you just want to like get it on there and apply it to the area. Okay. Give this a shake. Oh, yeah. Alright. Then, you don't really want to get too close with this, but you want to make sure that you don't hit the areas that aren't covered. Yeah, see, I got too close right there, so I'm going to have to go back over that if I can. 
I mean, it's not always going to be perfect. But if you can get it perfect, try to. Alright, now we'll go back over that again. There ain't no need to let it dry on there. There we go. I'm gonna do one more spot down here on this end. Just so you know you got the pattern everywhere. Now I'm gonna turn it up on the side so I can get this lower part. Just kind of can't get to that the way that this thing is made. And there is a coffin to be flying around my head. Okay. Now that side is done. Turn that around. See how it's got that little bit of a snakeskin pattern to it? Now we'll do this side. And like I said, it doesn't really have to mirror on the side I was looking for that B I don't know where it went alright I'm going to turn this up on its side hopefully it doesn't mess up the camo job on that side alright see how I just lay that on there like that as long as it's close to what to the desired areas now you like I said you don't want to get too close to this otherwise it'll just go underneath and get make it look like look at that shit go on some damn where will be and then tighten this up on this bottom section down here That look nice. Real nice. Alright, now we'll do this back section. Hmm. I don't think that looks very bad. a little bit see not bad I mean I could have done better but mm, I ain't done nothing in a while it's fine with me all right and now that this is that proper time to dry you see how it's not shiny like it was originally when it was coated on there the brown anyway so that's good we can go ahead and get us a different coat on that Set this out of the way. Set that up close so y'all can see it. Ain't that nice? Real nice, ain't it? Alright, now with this one, I'm probably just gonna wrap it in this and then back up a little bit. You guys probably might want to wear gloves when doing this, just saying. I think it nails a green. I'm not trying to show you my fingernail, I'm trying to show you what I did. There you go. It's not bad. I mean, like I said, it ain't gotta be pretty. 
It's a camo job. It ain't supposed to be for style and flair. It's just supposed to camouflage something. So, uh, well, there you go, people. That is a tactical combat instructor custom paint job. Um, if I would have had um, flat dark flat dark earth, I would have done that as my base coat, but I was out of it, unfortunately. But there you go. One custom spray painted red dot scope and a push button for a tack light spray painted and camouflaged. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment for recommended ideas that I would do on this channel. Thank you for watching and bye bye.